Hi, I'm Kevin from Sequential and welcome to a sneak preview of the Mondrian Wall, our new dynamic curriculum planning system. The Mondrian Wall is the second solution based on our education identity platform following the launch of Didbook last year. This means the Mondrian Wall is based on a tried and tested system that's already being used by students and teachers across the country. We think the Mondrian Wall can help your school bring your curriculum to life and change the way your curriculum is planned, used and understood. Because every school is different, the Mondrian Wall will be completely customised to your school by one of our education consultants. This customisation includes the language, framework, skills or competencies programmes, aims and aspirations of your school. So let's have a look at the prototype in action. The first view we'll look at is a searchable list of units or modules of teaching. These are the high level building blocks of your curriculum from which lesson plans and so on are derived. Here you can see the details for a particular unit. The data stored in each unit will be customised to your school. This video shows real footage from a development version of the Mondrian Wall using data from a real school. Every teacher will be able to look at all the units across all disciplines or subjects. Here you can see the list being instantly updated as the user filters it by subject. Instant searching or filtering helps you find units quickly and easily. As you type each letter, the list of units is updated automatically. In this example, the user is looking for units in English with the word poetry in its title. You can instant search across all the properties of your units. For example, here the user is refining their search to instant filter their list to show units that have the word reflect in a custom property called the unit question. Colours can be used to represent skills, competences, or in this case, areas of interaction. You can use the instant search features to instantly filter the list based on these criteria, as you can see here. All your teachers will be able to create and edit units of teaching. In this case, the user is updating the title of the unit. As you can see, it's quick and easy to update the curriculum, and because it's stored online, everyone sees the latest version. The Mondrian Wall will support a variety of different views or ways of looking at the curriculum. Let's look at an example of another view, a whole school grid. Most schools have never seen anything that represents their whole curriculum. In this view, each coloured box represents an individual unit of teaching. The vertical columns show all the units for one subject. For example, the column on the far left is English, and you can see it's arranged in five vertical blocks, one for each of the five years for this particular curriculum plan. So, if you look at any one column, that basically shows a whole vertical plan for one subject. Therefore, the rows of units across the top shows a horizontal plan for the start of Term 1, Year 1, across all the subjects or disciplines in your school. So with this view, for the first time, everyone in your school will be able to visualise your whole curriculum. Unit details are displayed in this view when the user rolls over the unit with the mouse. All the views in the Mondrian Wall use our As You Type instant searching technology. Here, the user is searching again for all the units with the word poetry in its title. Again, the user is now searching across one of the unit properties, the unit question, looking for matches against the word reflect. From this high level visualisation of the curriculum, we can quickly drill down to see the details of a particular unit, and then easily go back to where you were in the whole school view. Here you can see the user wants to visualise how a particular skill or competence is embedded across the whole school curriculum. From any view, Right-clicking a unit brings up a menu of options, enabling you to drill down, edit, compare, or create cross-curriculum links between units. For many view, you can also compare two units by bringing up their details in a split-screen view, which also allows you to edit the unit properties. Here, the user wants to change the length of a particular unit from 12 weeks to 24. You can see the visualization automatically updates the height of the unit in this view represents its duration.
Here, the user has quickly changed the duration back to 12 weeks and can immediately see the impact of their change in the curriculum visualization. Every view will include a toolbar, which can be used to perform instant searching on all the elements of the curriculum, their properties and their relationships with other parts of the curriculum. This unit, Plants Part 3, seems to have caught the user's attention. Students and teachers can provide feedback on the curriculum by adding evaluations. The information captured in an evaluation can be tailored to your school and can include numeric ratings, guided multiple choice questions, and as you can see here, freeform text. You can even use the instant searching features to filter the curriculum based on past evaluations. For example, show me all the units where students have given an average score of over 5. Going back to the list view, you can see instant searching helping the user quickly find the unit Plants Part 3. And you can now see an icon indicating that it has received some evaluations. Right clicking a unit and selecting Remember allows the user to compare or create links between that unit and any other unit in the curriculum. This even works across the different views. As you can see here, the Plants Part 2 unit can now be compared or linked to the Metal Me unit in a different subject. The benefits of cross-curriculum links are well known to schools. However, the practice of developing these links has always been a challenge. The Mondrian Wall changes this because it helps you create, manage and visualise cross-curriculum links between units of teaching. Here, you can see the lines between the units, which represent interdisciplinary links. Horizontal lines represent transdisciplinary links. Asking new questions with instant searching and filtering will help you understand which subjects or teachers are creating successful links. Then, you'll be able to help those teachers share this best practice with their colleagues. The Mondrian Ball can help you have the freedom to be creative with your curriculum, but also have the confidence that you're mapping it to all the things you need to cover. It allows you to create a list of subject-specific content items, either from existing plans or from an external curriculum, such as the National Curriculum. Using the instant search tools, you can then filter these lists and display them in a view alongside a filtered list of units. The Mondrian Wall will then help you map subject-specific content items to these units so you can see which ones are mapped, or see which ones haven't been mapped yet. So, with the Mondrian Wall, you can map your current curriculum, store it in a central place for all teachers and students, and visualise the whole curriculum for the first time. It then helps you dynamically plan your curriculum, promoting cross-curriculum links and giving your team the confidence to be as creative as possible with their unit plans, knowing that they're ticking the boxes they need to tick in terms of subject content and external curriculums. So I hope you've enjoyed this preview of the Mondrian Wall. To find out more about how the Mondrian Wall can help you bring your curriculum to life, please visit our blog at blog.mondrianwall.com where you can ask questions, have your say and get in touch. We'd love to hear from you.